Darker's Dawn. He was edgy in the gates and he gave away about two lengths. Darker's Dawn, as you'll see. Yellow Silks of Spider's Corner right there. Cubanel's the white cap on the left hand side. Animus. Pulpit Rock, Lord Caro, Fort McHenry, and Darkest Dawn is now overdoing it a bit. He's made up the ground. He's three lengths off. Drogarati's further back in the running as they sort themselves into racing order. Cupid Song, wider out in the green cap. And further back in the running, you're going to find fire on the track dropping out a bit. Spider's Corner, 500 metres to go, Fort McHenry. Darkest Dawn has come under the drive. Lord Carrow's towards the inside. Dirty Rascal tries to get closer. Spider's Corner, though, onto the 300 metre marker, the one to get a hold of. On the outside, Lord Carrow, Fort McHenry, Darkest Dawn. But Spider's Corner is well clear at the 200 metre marker. And running on from the back end of the field, fire on the track. But it's Spider's Corner over the last 100 metres, and it's going to be number six, Spider's Corner. Number 12, Fire on the Track. Five, Lord Caro. Nine, Fort McHenry. And the favourite, Darkest Dawn, well down the field. Well, there's some confidence for Spider's Corner from the camp. They said he showed some decent ability, and he brings it to the course today, Spider's Corner. Running on, Fire on the Track. Lord Caro, Fort McHenry. 300 metres to go, Spider's Corner down the middle of the course, cleared away from the opposition, and it was apparent at the 300, nothing was going to get near him. Spider's Corner to open the meeting. Fire on the track with the white blinkers staying on, and that's the exactor back to the studio. The first race of the day has been a run here at Hollywood Beach Gravel and it's gone the way of horse number six, Spider's Corner. From the Duncan Howell stable, Luke Ferraris has done duty and this is owned by the Hollywood Syndicate and they are represented by Anthony Delpeche who is on course today and we'll get to talk to him in a short while. But uh, Spider's Corner has certainly uh, showed them a clean pair of heels and just showed that that first run was all wrong. But before we go any further, we'd like to uh, recognize McKenna who is the groom and who's in charge of uh, Spider's Corner. He takes a thousand rand home on behalf of Gold Circle and on behalf of Hollywood. A thousand rand to you, McKenna. Congratulations and uh, well done with Spider's Corner's victory. Let us now get uh, the trainer into the, uh, into the uh, area, into the winner's area. And uh, Duncan, if you wouldn't mind coming a bit closer to that microphone, thank you. Uh, thanks for your comments. We uh, did disseminate your comments to the public and you were on, on the TV show as well. And uh, this is the Spider's Corner you know. run but uh, Muzi was quite upbeat about the horse he just said to the horse was extremely green plus on that day the, gr the ground was very soft and you, you look at his action he's quite a quick sort of horse so obviously getting out in front with Luke, Luke rather a crack over race uh, he did what he's capable of doing. Just uh, the microphone played up for a second uh, when you were starting to talk and you were just saying that uh, this horse has shown you the work today. Yeah, look, at home, yes, he's, Anthony's been there. I mean, his workouts are pretty decent, and uh, he's got a lot of speed. Just a lazy horse with a lot of problems getting him to break properly. 
but a little bit of patience paid off and finally he's brought, brought his homer to the track. Duncan, you've got two more runners to come, a cold hard cash and uh, awesome. the name escapes me of the second runner. Would you like to touch on both your runners to come? Yeah, the next one to follow is Special Blend, obviously a competitive race. He's above average and he's racing consistently, so I'm expecting him to be in the first three. And I thought the way the track's running today, cold hard cash, you know, we, we all know he's got his win problem, so he can be totally wrong or you can be totally correct. But I think he'll give a very good account of himself at the weight. Hollywood support uh, your stables, support a lot of stables, and, and nice to have Anthony on course and nice to reward them with a winner. Yes, I'm very happy to, to have a winner for them. They, they give you free reign, there's no interference in training the horse. Obviously, we were a little bit on the back foot after his first run. When time did a lot of work on the horse, Anthony's. Uh, I said to Anthony today, when on the first three, I'd be highly disappointed. Well, I relay that to the public. Well done. And uh, it's been a bit of a drought for you, but uh, the winners come now. It's been a bit of an unlucky time, but let the floodgates now open for you. Let's hope so, Warren. Uh, they're also in the right space. We just haven't had luck. But uh, you know this game, it's ups and downs. And it uh, provides you with a good uh, leveller. So let's see how we go. Well done. Let's talk to Luke. And uh, he's the gentleman that uh, has steered the source into the winner's enclosure. And... Uh, I happen to be standing next to you guys in the ring and, and I thought positive and good instructions from the trainer. Yes, sir, yeah. Um, the, the, the way he felt today is that he, he wants it to be ridden the way he likes it and uh, he really enjoyed it out in front. He didn't want to be headed by any horses. And uh, yeah, he fought on well and then went on to win a nice race. Uh, Luke, he, he, all the way home, I mean, yes, it wasn't the greatest maiden, but the horses behind you were, were battling to catch and, and you, you sort of sailed all the way home. You were never in doubt, were you? Thanks. So yeah, no, he uh, he was never in doubt. He won quite comfortably, which was nice to see. And uh, yeah, hopefully he can go on to do better things. Tell us about uh, the rest of your card. You've got some interesting runners, especially the horse of Mr. Pullers in the last race. What are you expecting today from your runners? Um, so look, on paper they all they all have good form. So I'm hoping for big runs from all of them. Let's hope we chat later. Well done, Luke. Thank you very much. A big thank you to Hollywood and to my sponsors, Aventure. Thank you. There we go, Aventure Oratorio. That's the cap that Luke's wearing and. Nice to have Anthony Delpesh on course. And Anthony, as you said to me a little earlier, quiet day for you, one runner, but 100% strike rate, and you'll take that any day. Yeah, very well done to Dunks. Uh, he was very disappointing his first run, and Duncan actually thought he'd run in the top four and scratch his head. But obviously, sometimes it will take a little bit of time for the penny to drop. He, he, today, he looks more alert in the parading event, went down to the start well, and uh, I think he brought his homework to the races today, and he won impressively. Very well done to... Hollywood Syndicate and to Rathmore Stud. Anthony, uh, you've written, uh, we, we don't need to, you don't need any introduction, but uh, nice that you're able to give this feedback from the sidelines to the uh, trainers and to your syndicate and to Owen and the whole team. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, what you've seen today. Obviously, we're not uh, going to get too excited, but you've got to be pleased with the way this horse really won. Yeah, it, it's, it's actually a big learning curve for me too because. Uh, obviously going to track and, and, and watching their work, not sitting on them, it's, yes. it's a big difference. And I've gone to track and I've watched him work and he's worked with three-time winners before he ran first time and he ran so disappointing. So you scratch your head and uh, now I know how, how difficult it is for the trainers. And, uh, you know, all Duncan said today is just let him bring his A game to the track and it'll be very hard to beat. And that's exactly what he's done. So very well done to him too. He's been going through a bit of a tough time. So let's hope this uh, gets his stable better. Well done. Nice chatting. Thanks so much. Lovely. Anthony Delpesh. And yeah, always wonderful to talk to Anthony and uh, the whole Delpesh family. Candice, wherever you're watching, well done. And uh, well done to the Hollywood Syndicate. Really an impressive winner this horse today. Uh, Spider's Corner. And yeah, it's uh, certainly got it one and one well. 6, 12, 5 and 9. Those are the results that you're going to need for race one. See you in a short while.